Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome back to my let's play of Mole Moose Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. This time they've had an update with a big old collaboration scenario attached to it. So once you've fulfilled the conditions, you can come to your pocket model castle and get started with it. And here we go. The white rabbit's here. And she wants attention. Um, I mean, she wants to tell us something. She says it's big, so yeah. So the white rabbit is here. I do not get a good premonition about this. But we can't very well ignore her. Let's hear what she has to say. Big, big trouble, big trouble. Come on, listen up. So this is how we start the collaboration scenario. The land of the night and the heroes of seven worlds. Please pay attention to the following points. When you aren't controlling Luca, you don't get to see any of the erotic scenes. And all of your items, and all of your equipped items, are all going to be sent to the warehouse. I could have showed you the warehouse, but there's not much to it. You can access it through the maids. Anyway, all of our stuff gets sent to the warehouse. Afterwards, we can get it back. And through this scenario, we won't be able to equip any of the chaos, I the chaos equipment. It'll be unequipped if we have it on, and at the end of the scenario, we'll automatically be able to equip it again. So then, do you want to start the collaboration scenario? Would you believe the first time I tried this, I immediately did something that disqualified me? I had to see how much the warehouse held, because it's there, you know. So I bought 999 simple herbs, went back to the maid and put them all in the all in the warehouse, 99 at a time. So the warehouse is full, and I tried to start, and it said, now you've got too many, too much stuff in the warehouse, you need to empty it out before you can do the collaboration scenario. So yeah, that happened. I thought it was hilarious. Anyway. It looks like something troublesome's come up again. Speak. Let me say this first off. In this incident, I didn't do anything wrong, okay? Probably she's at fault here. Okay, this happened a little while ago. Just a day like any other, I'm going off to guide the Mao. That's her job, after all. Alright, some days ago at the ruins of Lima Village. All right, my next workplace is F26617, huh? Open up, let's go. So she opens the gate to another world. It'd be nice if the next Mao is cooperative. Let's go. Point. Hey, I'm the White Rabbit. I've come to guide the Mao Alice, but... Rawls. Apparently he's a silent protagonist. White Rabbit. Just, who are you? Hmm. You're not the Mao at all, are you? Well... In a way, I'm a fragment of the Mao. Thanks for commenting, Rawls. A fragment, huh? Well, if you're just a fragment, it can't be helped. Sorry, I got the wrong person. What just happened? Visible confusion. What just happened? That's weird. I should have gone to F0 
uh, F26617. It should have been connected there. Huh? I got the transportation settings wrong. The destination was RJ026617. What's up with that? Well, if you're familiar with the DL site, all of their goods have a code like that. RJ026617 would be the code that those guys came from. Well, the code of the game that those guys came from. Anyway. I didn't know that the un there was a universe at that address. Uh, this is dangerous. Better close this up. Oh, not going to be that easy, huh? A strange presence is coming close through the gate. Ah, uh, this might be bad. So, passing through the gate, we have an unknown existence showing itself. Well, now this is just like a fairy tale. I followed a white rabbit and I found myself in a strange new world. Ah, uh, you can't come through here. <laughs> Quick, go back to where you came from. No, you won't welcome me here. At the very least, I should... I would have liked for you to entertain me a little. Ah, uh, this is corrosion of space time. Hey, hey, this is the land of the night. In this world, too, I'm going to show everyone a splendid dream. Ah, uh, sorry, but. I can't let you do that. Uh, even by force, I'm going to send you back to your original world. Washu. So she does this claw dance, but it doesn't work. Huh? It's not effective. Really, it's more like I can't interfere. That kind of attack doesn't work on nightmares. Come, I'll show you a pleasant dream. Hmm, sorry, but pleasure doesn't work on me. Not a bit. It's working? Oh, yeah. Bypassing pleasure resistance. This is... A, this is the first time for me. Ah, Munya Munya. Well, enjoy your sweet dreams. I'm going to make use of your power. Yeah, wake up, jerk. You're beat just like that. Well, she was operating under different laws of physics. It was my first time experiencing, so naturally I was a bit off guard. So, that being the case, I was put to sleep. I was, and the, I was made into that enemy's slave, and uh, yeah, now we're here, now here we are. But you're right in front of us. Oh, yeah. There are lots of you, aren't there? The Lord of the Night. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling her that just as a convenience. We don't know where she came, what world she came from, and we don't know what she's actually called. In any case, the Lord of the Night's put made bad use of my power after she enslaved me. She opened gates and called through others from still other worlds. Calling forth people, huh? In other words, these people are her companions. 
Uh, rather than companions, we'll call them our allies. They've come from all different worlds and we're drawn together kind of thing here. Since they're coming from different worlds, it's their first time meeting. They're under agreements to gather and such. It goes without saying here, but they're all quite powerful. They're all bad guys and there are quite a few that came in. So surrounding this Lord of the Night or whatever, these, uh, this group that's gathered from the different worlds has formed a big old fighting force, huh? And the Lord of the Night, the Lord of Dreams is, was I saying Lord of the Night before? And now it's certainly showing Lord of Dreams. Maybe I was wrong before, or maybe it changed on me, I don't know. Anyway. The Lord of Dreams is trying to spread the land of the night in this world. The land of the night? Just what is that? Well, it's based on physical laws from other worlds, so there are a lot of unknown points here, but probably it's a space-time corrosion on a spiritual level. The Lord of Dreams said she was a nightmare. Probably those girls that call themselves there. Mm. No, it says that those girls came from the land of the night. But all we, at this point, we only know that she did. Anyway, so she came from the land of the night. So these nightmares or whatever are existences that operate on different physical laws. Well, they're kind of like the succubi that we know and they kind of aren't. Now, sounds pretty fearsome. And she snuck into our world. Yep, even I was beat by the Lord of Dreams pretty easily. But the characteristics of nightmares are pretty I've got a kind of handle on. First, nightmares are unaffected by all elemental attacks except for pleasure attacks. Physical attacks, of course. But all the other elements also don't work on them. So when they are our enemy, we have to rely only on pleasure attacks. That's uh, kind of ferocious. Furthermore, when they use these pleasure attacks, it can't, the damage dealt can't be reduced at all. Pleasure resistance and pleasure reflection are bypassed completely. Ugh, that's fearsome. Even if you have pleasure resistance, it doesn't matter. But probably, nightmares can't use attacks other than pleasure attacks, I think. They can't use anything other than that. So they won't hit us or use magic. Well, nightmares operate on a truth that rejects that kind of brute force. For that reason, they are specialized in the use of pleasures. So, that being that, the nightmares characteristics, you got them all? You're going to be fighting those guys, so you should remember them well. Hmm. Just once more, let me confirm. First, they don't take damage from anything other than pleasure attacks. So then, 
from our perspective, we should, a good plan is to assemble members that can, that are skilled in using pleasure techniques. Uh, I think I won't be much use here. Yeah, far from it. You're just going to be prey, aren't you? Oh, you hit a nerve. And one more. The pleasure damage dealt by the nightmares can't be reduced. Pleasure resistance and reflection are bypassed. And it deals damage directly to you. Good job repeating that, Alice. You want a prize? But nightmares don't have any attacks other than pleasure. If we remember this, we should be able to fight effectively. So these allies that were brought in by the Lord of Dreams. Are they all nightmares? Well, amongst them, a lot of them are nightmares, but probably the majority aren't. So most of the allies, will be, you'll be able to fight normally. Should be able to fight normally. But they're all pretty strong, so don't let your guard down. So, what is the objective of this Lord of Dreams? Corroding this world and gathering these allies, what's she planning? What's she trying to do? The land of the night. She's trying to spread it in this world. I said it before, it's a kind of corrosion of the spiritual world. Probably she plans on enveloping this world in the uh, spreading. She plans on spreading the land of the night in this world. Uh, no. She plans on changing this whole world into the land of the night. Uh, so then everybody is going to experience an unending, pleasurable dream. Uh, just like me when I was beat up there. This whole world is going to be sunk into a pleasure dream. Yeah, we're in a big pinch here, don't you think? Of course we are. Furthermore, everything was com is coming as a result of your mistake. I'm not wrong here. Yeah. On the other, <clears throat> from the other perspective, this happened at the best time we could have thought. Since the Great Holy War, it's been some thousand years of mostly peace, with one exception. But now, and now only, the greatest fighting forces have been drawing together. Pretty soon there will be another battle on, on par with the Great Holy Wars. At this time, only at this time, we really might have enough resources to handle it, don't you think? In all of history, only at this time are we best equipped to handle this. We've got the strongest battle formations and armies put together in order to field against this Lord of Dreams. In the end, this is something that had to happen. And from our perspective, it happened with the best with the best timing available. Actually, it's pretty fortunate. Don't you think so? Are you thinking that we're going to let this slide with that? Oh, no good, huh? Look, we can blame her all we want later. 
for now, let's keep our eyes on the on handling this crisis. Huh, truly, that's what we should do. White Rabbit, where is this Lord of Dreams now? Where she appeared first was the ruins of Lama Village, but I don't know where she is right now. And I won't really be inter interfering with this incident. My role is guidance, after all. While being the cause of all of this, you're going to throw it all on us. You idiot rabbit. Hey, I was feeling a little bit of responsibility here, so I came here and told you about it. Normally, I'd just walk it off and stuff. Yeah, anyway. We don't know where our enemy is right now. We can't really set a plan. To start with, we'd better start gathering information. If it's such a great power as this, it probably won't. It'll probably be causing incidents all over the place. Her allies as well probably won't sit around quietly. In that case, I should return to my country. I'll direct the investigation corps that we and uh, keep an eye on everything in in the country. This guy's ugly and stupid, so I'm not going to read what he has to say. Probably the same as Sara, really. And Granoa will also return to our country. Grand Noah is going to help us out. And with the four countries gathering information, we should be able to get a grip on any incident that occurs. So all the rulers return to their respective countries. Which I only remember who this person is because I've been working on my game lately. Anyway, she's a researcher. In any case, she's going to return to the succubus village. She asks if, it, if it's all right. She thinks she might have, be able to find some documents in her library connected to nightmares. That's not likely to work, but you might find something. Very well. Off with you. And I too need to go and return to my sisters. This is something I need to report to. This is a matter I need to report to them immediately. No, 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 wait. You and them can communicate telepathically. I remember that. I'm sure of it. Oh, fine, never mind. Hmm, well, if we're going to be fighting against nightmares, losing you is going to hurt. Look, as fast as I can, I'll come right back to you. Bye now. Isn't it charming how irresponsible she is? Now, yeah, so what do we do? Well, there's nothing we can do except wait for some actionable information. We don't know where the enemy is, so we can't do anything. Hmm. So, for a while we just sit around, sit quietly and wait. So, until something... It's unsettling to be stuck waiting on information, but it can't be helped. The four countries are gathering information, and soon they should find something. So, I said that these allies are coming from various different worlds. They are existences that are going to increase the entropy of this world. But in this world, there are effects and there are counter effects. 
actions and reactions, if you will. And in history, there are corrective forces at work. So, because the entropy of this world is increasing, to, as a force to suppress that, there are corrective powers that are going to go to work. Or they should. So, what are you saying? From various other worlds, getting drawn into ours, it's not just the Lord of Dreams' allies. The crisis that those girls are going to cause are going is also could also draw forth heroes that can put an end to their plans from the same world. Ooh, sounds fun, huh? All right, here we got our first two, I suppose. What is this place? Laura, do you know what happened? Silent protagonist number two. So he shakes his head. Doesn't know the place. Doesn't know the circumstances. Hmm, that seems like the case. We got sucked into that black hole all of a sudden. And when we came to, here we are. Look, it's a succubus. Well now, here's a cute boy I found here. And is that your friend? There are succubi on this mountain. But going by the feel of it, something's different. Mm -hmm. Boy, you look so tasty. Hey, you there. Would you mind sharing your prayer with me? Sorry, but Laurel Rat is not my prey. We're busy, so would you kindly go away? Well, how inhospitable. In that case, why don't I just take him by force? Laura goes to use his skills, but the runes don't react. Confused alarm. What are you doing, boy? Don't tell me you want to be mine. So she laughs. The runes aren't activating. What's going on? So, what are you trying to play at? Wouldn't you rather play with me? Ah, this is bad. So, Rijeo uses... No. Rijeo gropes the, uh, the succubus' chest. Succubus takes 245 damage. Well, aren't you good at that? But you're not my type. You're in the way. Get out of here. So, the succubus goes and throws a kick at Rijeo. But nothing happens. Well, that's weird. My kick didn't hurt at all. Kick, kick. What's going on here? Succubi don't use that kind of violence. So everybody's... Everybody's together and being confused here. The succubus backs up in caution. I have no idea what's going on with you. That's what we'd like to say. We've never seen a succubus that acts like you. Laura's analyzing the situation. 
He doesn't know why, but his runes aren't activating. Most of his magic he can't use. The uh, groping there worked. But the kick that the succubus threw at Rigeo didn't. Alright, I'm going to do it like I always do. Lorat, try and see if you can do anything. Try and see what you can do. Sorry. So he quietly nods. <laughs> She's got her courage back, hasn't she? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm not going to let a tasty looking man like this boy get away from me. Let's go! So, we got through somehow. It seems that, like always, if we get them to climax, it's good. As expected, the runes mostly don't react. Basic, only the extremely basic skills are usable right now. Really can't fight to my... Can't be fulfilled with how well I can fight right now. As expected, there's something messed up around this mountain. Let's get down from here. Laura nods. It's dangerous to stick around here. Furthermore, I've noticed this. Not just Lorat's runes, but the runes that uh, engraved upon me also aren't reacting. Whether the runes are in a bad status or whether this bad, whether this location is bad, well, they decide on descending from the mountain. They don't know the place, and they don't know what's going on. Alright, simple enough. Oh, I hate random encounters. I would put on abilities at the very least, but these guys don't have any abilities. In fact, they have no jobs. This one job you can see there, that's unemployed, and it has literally no skills. Probably as soon as I get the chance, everybody's getting the player, the, yeah, player job, so that I can reduce these damn random encounters. See, I'd be down the mountain by now. Oh, except for this, I guess. Well, it's a pretty view. But the resonance of this mountain are so barbaric. They come at you biting and flailing with tentacles and things. But those kind of attacks don't work on Rijeo. They, they work on Laura, though. Furthermore, Laurats have been forced into a pretty disadvantageous situation. His runes don't activate and most of his magic is unusable. By the way, Laurata, that marking on the back of your hand, when did that happen? So he shakes his head. The strange symbology on the back of his right hand just floated out of like, floated out from underneath or something.
and it appeared when we came to this mountain. They must have some connection with the incident that brought them here. Could it be that the reason why you can't use your rooms is this? But I don't feel any kind of curse type magic from it. Well, yeah, your runes don't work either, remember? Eh. No, it seems like this isn't bad. That's what he feels. Quite the opposite. It is something close to a protective. Instinctively, Laura kind of senses that. Now, well, anyway, don't overdo it, Lorat. I'll do my best for you. So, Lorat sincerely nods. But this incident, he gets a feeling it's of rather large scale. What's gotten... What's... What's weird about this is not us, but the world. It seems like we've come to some place very, very far away indeed. But we can't just sit here thinking about it. Got to get down off the mountain and get a grasp on the situation. Jeez, I was supposed to be able to finish the entire game after oh, that second cave without any random encounters, and then this collapse scenario comes up. Oh, no, I skipped the... Well, that scene when we came down off the mountain was talking about what we should do, and then they spot this village over here. Sorry for skipping it. But that's the gist of it. They see the village, they say, let's go to the village. If you decide to go somewhere else, you won't get very far before Richeo turns you around and says, go to the village. Anyway, here we are, the succubus village. Visible confused alarm. Or is it visible alarmed confusion? Laura, you need to be more expressive. What's going on here? Hey, are you all right? Snort. He's sleeping. In the middle of the road, these people are just sleeping. Looks like a donut. No, it's not just sleeping. Something about it's clearly different. The way this is, it seems like... Oh, well, yes, of course, somebody's got to show up. They've fallen into the dream. The dream that's going to envelop the world, a dream of pleasure. Well, they don't give their names exactly, but they're, they show up in the subtitles there. That first girl was Mistletane. This is Orgatus. Yeah, she's complaining about how this job isn't interesting. Just raping out all the townspeople. This is Executioner. Now the other two have weird ass names, but this is a name that I actually recognize. You know what an Executioner is, right? Hmm, well, anyway. There were a lot of monsters that also resisted, but they weren't much of a challenge. Don't tell me you girls did this. Oh, this guy's come to his senses. So, Horgatus goes over and steps on his crotch. Steps on it pretty damn hard, repeatedly. How nice. Come on, give it up. Ah. I 
I don't like that kind of place, so that wouldn't work on me. But anyway. And he loses his senses. Hmm, <laughs> falling already. No persistence in these people at all. Yep. No doubt about it, these girls are who attack the town. But why would they do it? You guys. You're travelers with some bad, some bad luck, aren't you? Before we rape you, we've got some things we want to ask. Have you heard anything of rumors about people who have come from other worlds? Other worlds? No way, that could be... Oh, well, thanks for explaining, girls. <clears throat> so, there are sneaking into this world from other worlds. Some people or other. And we're the same way. Other worlds. Laura kind of felt that way since standing on the mountain back there. So we too, no, we didn't simply lose our way there. Through some cause or other, we've been brought to a whole nother world. Mistleton uh, appears to be observing something. Even if it's just rumors, tell us what you've heard. If you have any information in connection with other worlds, speak. If it's good information, we'll make it good for you. Very pleasurable. You'll see heaven. Or could it be? You two also came from another world. Ooh, this girl's smart. We... Is that really what happened? Hmm, yeah. Looking at the situation, not much doubt about it. We've been brought to another world. Around here, the general rules that we're used to have changed. That's why we can't fight the way we did in our world. In our world. Oh, oh you got it there. To think that we'd stumble upon them so easily. So early. Hey, hey, wait up. It, it seems like that's the case, but we don't know what's going on here. Hmm, as expected, that's the case. So then, based on our alliance with the Lord of Dreams, let's take care of them. Wait. The White Rabbit called her the Lord of Dreams, and now these people are calling her the Lord of Dreams. Either that's one hell of a coincidence, or there's been some collaboration here. Eh, whatever. Visible alarm. Alright, let me do it. This is interesting. I wonder how strong these people from other worlds are. Alright, exit's up to you. But, be careful. That woman is a nightmare. Ah, you know about nightmares. Does this mean nightmares are native to Rigeo and Loret's world? The Lord of Dreams could be too. Well, I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. For that reason, that girl won't be affected by normal attacks. Attack her with pleasure, X. Right. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
guess we've got to do this. This girl called Executioner. She seems pretty dangerous. This uh, different world seems to be messed up in all kinds of ways. And we're clearly at a disadvantage. Yeah, don't overdo it, little rat. I'll do as much as I can, so. What's particularly distressing is the way he can't use his runes. But teaming up with Rijeo, we've got to fight our way through this. Come on then, I'll play nice with you. We can't let ourselves be beaten here. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got it on very easy difficulty, so it takes five turns. All right, so in the end, we're pretty good at fighting. She says, you're not bad. How about I get serious? Ah, you weren't serious there. We were fighting at full power, but she was still holding back. And even if we beat her, there are two more. Come on, X. Stop playing around, release and fight. We still haven't finished off this whole town. Hurry and finish. And come back and help us with this. Why are you attacking the townspeople? Uh, well that's a good question, but maybe now's not the good time to ask. It doesn't look like they're doing it just for fun. They've got some objective for uh, trampling over the townspeople like this, clearly. I said a little bit about it before, but we're de dropping them into the dream. The more we do it, the more that the land of dreams will spread. We're going to envelop the entire world in it. Land of Dreams. So these pleasure dreams and such that you're talking about, could it be? So they rape people and then entice them into dreams. In that way, the nightmare's territory is enlarged. Something like that is happening in Laurat and Regio's world's world. So the Yume, the dream world that the nightmares inhabit, is swallowing up the world of reality. Like these two's old world is what they're calling the world of reality. And furthermore, in that reality, people get lost and go crazy with uh, desires. And then in this other world, the same kind of thing is happening. The threat of the nightmares is showing itself. So that being the case, we're a little busy now. X, hurry and finish it up and get back to work. The work we're supposed to be doing. Our quota is pretty, is pretty tight here, don't forget that. We've got to rape all of these town people by nightfall. Oh yeah, that does sound like trouble. But check it out, I bet someone's coming out to help us. Oh well damn, it's just some punk kid. Oh no, go back inside. Huh? Famous last word. Yeah, you're not getting away. So, Orgatus goes in to attack him. Then makes to push him down. Wash out. 
What's up with you? It was my plan not to stick my neck into the problems of other worlds. But, eh, well, that's an Oni. An ogre, perhaps. Don't know how that's going to be translated in the end. Anyway, this suddenly appearing Oni beat back Ogratus. But seeing you guys, although it's unbecoming on my age, I just had to lift a hand against you. You're pretty strong. Interesting. I'll fight you then. Uh-oh. Mistletane is observing something again. So, you said other worlds, huh? That Oni also came from. Your world, is it? Hmm, I wonder. Rijao bluffs a bit here, but she can tell we've never seen this person again. So, what the hell is going on here? The three of you may come at me at once. Elders are impatient, after all. She's kind of old, I take it. Well, now, don't say that. I can take, test your power myself. So they do their powering up thing. Glaring. With the glaring and the killing intent. And just about when they're going to launch at each other. Stop there, Olga. We're pulling out of this location. What are you saying, big sis? We're going to turn tail and run? That Oni is pretty dangerous. Furthermore, that nightmare and boy over there we haven't taken care of either. If this continues, we could be putting our lives on the line here. At this early phase of the plan, we can't be betting our lives. Too early, too early. But, big sis. Yeah, I missed. At least we should take care of one of them. I said, we are retreating. Okay, I understand. Don't get angry, sis. Let's go, X. Right. Hey, wait. We shall be meeting you again. Until that time, take care of yourselves. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I like how they actually have animations of people leaving. Used to be when someone leaves, they just disappear. Or perhaps these particular succubi, demons, whatever they are, don't get teleportation like some of those. Some of them we see in our world. Anyway, those three girls, who appear to be sisters, finished their talk and they left. Ha, huh, they're gone. It seems like you two also came from another world. Going by your clothes, it's from a different world than mine. Hmm. Um, thanks for saving us. Who are you? I came from the Mahoroba, Japan. No, the Mahoroba Mountain in Japan. On that mountain, I'm the chief elder called Magatsu. Lorat and Rijao introduce themselves. Uh, still, I haven't heard of this country called Japan 
record this mountain called Mahoroba. I do. This is the first time I've heard of your village, Rendika. Although I can't say from the beginning I was knowledgeable about lands overseas. And this witch of order, Ramil, or something, she seems to be pretty famous, but uh, she seems to be pretty famous from your stories, but I have no recollection of hearing of her. Yeah, you're from different worlds. Duh. As expected, we and Magatsu came from different worlds. But we don't know how we got dragged into this world in the first place. And furthermore, it seems that those three sisters that were causing a ruckus also came from other worlds. Just what the hell is happening in this world, huh? I am at this time searching for my apprentice who should be in this world somewhere. He is called Byakumin. Do you have any recollection of him? I'm sorry, but we don't. We just got, we only just got here. Your apprentice is missing, huh? You know, the feeling of, of worry, I understand well. Ah, something about her backstory, I bet. Oh, you did mention Laureto. Your master, the witch Ramia. If she's got such a adorable young man as her apprentice, your master must be a fairly kind woman. So, what do we do? We've got to search for a way to return to our world. <laughs> ja -ja! Huh? Huh? What's this? This rabbit. Is he? W is she with you, Porat? We don't know this rabbit. You! Just who are you? And I'm the White Rabbit, and my job is guidance. I'm going to guide you guys who came from other worlds. And I see. It seems like you know something about our circumstances. In that case, let's get a good explanation from you. You guys are, you see, um, those kind of heroic type people who get, heroic types who get guided. Huh? 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 God, your explanations need work. So, otherworldly heroes. Appearing and getting guided. So, this is how their adventure starts. And that'll be the end of this part. These are broken up into chapters. I think I'll do one video per chapter. And whatever Kazuya here is getting up to, you'll have to see next time. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Nah, I don't think I'll save now. See you later.